For those who are new to YouTube or to my channel individually, my name is Perry, and every evening on Thanksgiving, I, after the family leaves, I begin to watch this series of Rocky movies, one through six. Now, normally I don't finish them all on this evening, and normally I start a little bit later. It's about 9.45, almost 10 o'clock, and I normally start this at around 11, but I'm in a little bit of a rush because I, with my new job, I'm working tonight, midnight to into the next morning, but still a great tradition, and I wanted to continue it on video this year so that I can remember and uh, share it with a lot of you. A lot of you have asked if I was going to film this. Well, a lot of it's going to be the same because I do it every year, but there are new things to talk about, new things to point out. If any of you know anything about Sylvester Stallone, this is what he's really well known for. I believe this first Rocky film was produced, it was in the 70s, yeah, 1976, and great movie. And the story behind it is my grandmother bought this for me as a birthday present, this box set right here for my birthday, and my birthday's on December 5th. She gave this to me as an early gift because I, I think I was having a hard time in high school or something and she thought Rocky would help me or <laughs> something like that. But it, it's great. It's got Rocky 2, 3, 4, and 5, as well as 1. And then, just a few years ago, they came out with the new film, Rocky Balboa. And, oh, it's a good film. They're all so good. <clears throat> so, we're watching the first one now. Start that here in a minute. But, one thing that I always do, also, is I normally eat some of the Thanksgiving dinner leftovers. And, tonight I'm having pumpkin pie. As usual, and if I get hungry through the movie, I'll get a plate of noodles and um, some other things. And I'll show you that through the dinner, through <laughs> through watching the movie, but let's go ahead and start this. I can't show you any of the movie. Um, if you want to see it, I recommend that you get it. I know a lot of people who've commented on the videos I've posted in the past where I've watched Rocky. They've asked me about it, what it's about, um, what it shows. You need to watch it. You need to rent it. So many people haven't seen it yet, and it's a it's a film classic. It it really is. Love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Rocky and have a wonderful evening. Oh, I love this. This is this is holiday for me. This is the holiday. <sighs> I think one of the interesting things about the entire series of Rocky is that this first film, and I think maybe all of the others, or most of the others, were written by Sylvester Stallone himself. It wasn't like he was found and then placed in that part. He actually wrote it and then found the right people who became interested in it. And it's really just a lot of information you can read online about the entire series, <clears throat> about Sylvester Stallone and... Uh, where he came from. He had a interesting start. I believe he was in a, a porno or something like that, but good guy. Um, very good film. Very good series. And I hope that you'll look them up online, find out where you can get them, buy them, order them. I'm just now to the part where Rocky is taking Adrian on their first date. And if, if any of you know, it's a, a love interest of his through the series is Adrian. Oh, it's good. It, their first date happens on Thanksgiving, and that's one thing that I always liked about watching this first movie, especially on Thanksgiving night, is because it's the same day, only this was in 76, and now we're in 2010. Now, just to give you a little bit of a layout as to what Rocky is, I know I've probably talked about this before, but I'll go ahead and do it again. Rocky Balboa is a young man living in Philadelphia, and he's a fighter, he's a bill collector, he works for the loan sharks and collects from people who haven't paid the loan sharks back, so he's he's into the business of breaking thumbs and fingers, and then in the evenings he'll, he'll go and he'll fight at the local gyms, and <clears throat> in the very beginning he's accused of being just a bum. Um, not not really fighting in big fights that could really advance his career, just fighting to make money. And so he's called a bum, and he hates that. Through the entire series, he doesn't like being called a bum. And a lot of what the movie is about is working to 
support yourself and to do better and to not give up, not to fall down, and when you do, to stand back up. It's one of my favorite things about the movie, um, the entire series. But what happens is the world heavyweight champion um, is up in Philadelphia for a fight, and then the person that he is going to be fighting, another sanctioned fighter, backs out. He's not able to do it. There's a medical issue. And so the world champion, which is uh, Creed, Apollo Creed, he has this great idea to promote the fight is to uh, have, a, have a local fight him, have someone off the streets have a chance at uh, obtaining the heavyweight belt to become the champion. And it's a, this big spiel about, in America, people dream about opportunities like this every day. And so it ends up, as you would guess, Rocky is the fighter that they find. They liked the title that he had, which was the Italian Stallion. And so Rocky is informed that he's going to have the opportunity to fight the world champion. And he ends up fighting him, and it, the series just takes off from there. It's a great, great film series, and like I said, if you haven't seen it, you need to. Um, I'm going to continue watching it now. I might go in and get me a plate of uh, noodles, and I'm really tired. I'm sad that I don't get to sleep tonight. This is a new, new thing for me, working uh, midnight into like 9 in the morning, but it's good because then I'll have the rest of Friday off and Saturday off, which means Friday evening and then Saturday evening I will have time to watch and finish all of the Rocky movies. Really enjoy this. Like I said, it just really makes everything feel complete as to how you feel when you're having holiday times. I'm having, <laughs> I'm having holiday times. That's a new quote. We can all put that on our banners or all, you know, our status updates. I'm having holiday times, or I'm looking forward to having holiday times. I love it. Oh, I'm about to pick up with the movie again. I have a little bowl of noodles and mashed potatoes. It's pretty delicious stuff. I'm excited to dig into this second dinner, because I've, well, it's actually my third dinner. That is shameful. I need to go to the gym. Getting ready to go to work here shortly. Um, gonna watch the movie, and that'll be that. The part that I'm watching now is where they're offering Rocky Balboa the opportunity to fight Apollo Creed, who is the world heavyweight champion. He's the best. And Rocky says, no, he's not interested. And it, I, I think what I really like about that is He's humble, and he's not thinking, oh, I'm a good fighter. He's thinking, Apollo's the best fighter. It wouldn't be such a good fight for me to fight him, you know. But he ends up accepting because the guy finagled him into saying, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. I just love this movie so much. It, it really, if you, if you look at it in your own perspective, let me press pause on this. You put it in your own life's perspective, and you look at something that you think is impossible for you to do. In, the, in this movie, that's the same thing that Rocky does. He's faced with fighting the best fighter there is, uh, the world title holder, the champion. He's thinking, it's just going to be a sparring match, and that's what everyone thinks in the beginning. It's, it's not going to be any type of a fight, but it is, because Rocky trains, and he just continues and, and works hard. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything extraordinary. He just does what he knows he needs to do to be in the shape that he needs to be to fight. And if you look at that in your own life, um, just continue on. Just have that determination to go forward, and you'll do it. You'll get it done, and it's amazing. So many people, it's a, so many things work in tandem with this movie. So many people in their lives are bums. They just don't want to do anything to support themselves. I see it all the time. Eh. It's unfortunate. People are lazy by nature. They don't want to work. They don't want to push themselves. But if you do, you'll find success. I know that. I found so many so many successful moments in my life have come, and I have found those moments from just continuing on and pushing myself with my weight loss, with going to the gym, and getting my body. 
to be how I want it to be instead of just letting it go. Um, I'm happy with my myself. Now I've still got a little bit of a ways to go before I'm where I want to be completely, but you know, it's a work in progress. You just keep on. And that's what Rocky did after he be he fights and, 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 and eventually in the series he wins. He doesn't just stop. He continues on. And that's what the later movies are about, is he continues on. He doesn't just stop. The journey's not over. It's a work in progress. And we can do that throughout our lives. Now, I apologize for some of my stumbling, but these are just thoughts that are coming to me as I'm talking. They were already in my head. I just had to vocalize them. I wanted to share those with you. But uh, I'm f pretty much finished with the movie. So this is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to finish the movie, get ready for work, and then... I will finish the movies tomorrow night and Saturday night. Really enjoyed this. I will see you next year, Thanksgiving 2011, for another Rocky tradition. I love it, and it's great. So, hope all's well in your neck of the woods.